Hello, hello, welcome back to another vlog. It is March the 1st today, I'm filming this on. Um, I ended the last vlog just before my birthday. Um, my birthday was on the 27th, so we actually went to my mum's for the weekend and we had a lovely, lovely weekend. And then my partner booked us to go away to the Lake District for two days, so we booked two days off work um, on my birthday, on the Monday and on the Tuesday, and we went to uh, Windermere and we went on lots of walks we walked around areas we went on all these lovely things we stayed in a lovely little hotel room for a night and it was it was so relaxing I don't think I have relaxed that much in a very long time so I was very much pleased to just have some time away from work and some time away from responsibilities um but I thought I would do a little bit of an art haul um, not all my gifts were art related. I had some lovely gifts in general, um, but I thought I'll show you some of the more art related things or things that are going to go in my studio, let's say as well. Um, so I thought I'd show you those. So firstly, I think I've mentioned this before. My partner, we have a bit of a tradition where she gets me a, a new washi tape every birthday, Christmas, you know, everything like that. So she actually picked me up this cheetah washi tape, which Cheetahs are actually my favourite uh, animal, so very, very good. Um, it's a very nice little blue washi tape there, so very nice. And then my partner's mum actually got me two other washi tapes, a lovely um, sunflower-inspired washi tape and this Japanese kind of watercolory style washi tape, which are beautiful. I'm actually going to have to get a new like little roller display on my pegboard because I'm running out of room for my washi tapes, although I am using them, so um, at least that's one thing. Um, two little items that are actually going to go in my studio as kind of um, more decor sort of things. So I love burning candles whilst I am um, whilst I'm working and doing things. It's just really relaxing. I love the smells. Um, so one of these is from Lost and Fond on Etsy. So please go and check them out because this is so cute and I've, I love it. Um, so it comes in this lovely little bag and it's actually a little wax melt burner for mini wax melt. <laughs> it's in the shape of a little cactus. How cute is that? So I'm excited to put that out and it came with some little mini wax melts as well in the scent patchouli and sweet orange and they smell delicious so i'm excited to burn those i'm sure you'll see me putting that on later on in the video and then kind of along the same the same theme um i received this quite funny candle which i don't think i can ever bring myself to burn but i think it's hilarious um so there's like an opening it all over again. It smells absolutely fantastic. <laughs> I hope you're ready for this. <laughs> it's a grumpy cat. I think it's it's hilarious. I love it. And I don't think I ever want to burn it, but it's gonna go on my shelves. Um oh, it smells amazing. I wonder what scent it is. Let's see if it tells me on here. It is black plum and rhubarb. You can really smell the rhubarb delicious but yeah look how funny that is i think that's really hilarious and um, so that's kind of more decor things then um something that you'll probably see in a video before this goes out is i'm jumping on this trend quite late um but it's the teeny jelly gouache so i've got this lovely yellow set um i really like this yellow it's really really nice looking pastel yellow and um, but it's got the jelly gouache in here it's a set of 18 colors so you will probably have seen this or will be seeing a video of me using these like i said i'm jumping on the trend quite late but um i'm excited i think i've been really getting into my gouache at the moment so i'm really interested to see what the jelly gouache is like compared to normal gouache um so that's that one and then the last thing if i'm a surface to put this on and then the last thing is it's quite a special gift. So as a lot of you may know, I use my glass dip pen for doing all of my ink work and my ink missions. <laughs> Excuse me, checked on my own saliva. Um, and before or during the move into our new house, I accidentally snapped the, not the working end, but the, the handle end. I snapped the tip off that. And although I could still use the pen and I will continue to still use it, I've been wanting to get a new one, but they're so 
they're so unique and so special that I didn't want to just willy-nilly buy one. So my partner bought me it um, for my gift. So she actually got me a lovely purple one to match all my theme and my branding. Um, so this is the box it comes in. And that's the, the handle there, the lovely purple colour. I don't know if you can see the purple in there. And then it comes with a nib that they are interchangeable, the nibs, so that will go in there. Like I say, I will be still using my other one and I'll probably use it when I do travelling and I want to take my ink pen, etc. Um, purely because I don't want to smash another one. Um, but this is going to be perfect. And she also got me this lovely little stand. I'll show you close up some videos of this, but this lovely little stand that it can sit in so I can actually have it out on display a bit more. So I'm really... It's quite a special gift, this, because I, I love my glass dip pen and it is my key used supply. And I highly recommend if you have, you know, some money or you want to treat yourself and you are into inking, this is a special, special pen. They are beautiful and smooth and much better than the cheaper glass dip pens, although they are still good. So I'm really pleased with that. But that's my little haul from my birthday. Um, I did some artwork and things whilst we were away. Like I said, I was so relaxed. I actually felt like doing artwork and I actually really felt like putting some, just some time aside and not feeling the pressure of having to do it under a video and things like that. It was very, very nice. Um, and yeah, I was spoilt rotten. I had some lovely gifts, some some beautiful, like a gravy, I know it sounds strange, but I got a gravy boat, which we've been wanting, some, some champagne slash cocktail glasses, um a pestle and mortar you wouldn't think that was something you know so special but we've been wanting a really good pestle and mortar my mum got me this amazing Le Creuset one that's very nice in white um just some lovely gifts all round um and a lovely lovely weekend and two days in the lakes I've really thoroughly enjoyed my birthday so that's how we're going to start this vlog off um we've got a lot of stall prep this vlog um for the first stall of the year we've got a lot of prep for Mother's Day cards, uh, Easter cards, the shop launch this March. We just need to really crack on. So let's stop dilly-dallying. Let's get some work done before, at lunchtime and after work and see where we can get up to and how much we can get done. Small city thinking, I get why you left. Small-minded people, sure know how to drink. Wednesday the 8th today it's currently my lunch time so I'm just getting a few bits done I launched my Mother's Day cards here in the UK it's Mother's Day and <laughs> soon I launched my Mother's Day cards um on Monday morning and I've had a few orders for those which is good um I had quite a good response to them um so I'm just as you can hear my printer's currently working overdrive to print those orders out and I'm going to package them up and send those off um I am also in the process of filming a new video, which you will have seen. It's my Himi gouache, uh, jelly gouache video. So I'm just in the middle of painting something. It's currently International Women's Day as well. So I'm kind of, I'm doing a little painting with those for the video for International Women's Day, but it won't be going up today. <laughs> It'll be going up Friday, but um, so I'm just getting on with all these little bits. Um, my cellophane, stickers, all the packaging stuff for my um wrapping paper has arrived so i'm also in the process of making some tags to go along with the different wrapping paper designs um so i will show you that a bit later when i have a few done but it's i'm just trying to i'm trying to get my printing to match the printing that's on the wrapping paper color wise um there's a slight difference and i think that's it's purely just you know trial and error it's it's hard 
if, if you if you do your own printing you'll know it's very hard to match colors up especially if you've got you've gotten a few things done at a printer and you're also doing a few things and they've got to match so i'm just working out that at the moment um, and just getting everything ready for my shop launch slash the first market of the year which is at the end of this month so um, it's all steam ahead there's a lot going on i am also very aware that i'm uploading a lot of videos doing card designs but it is just once i've done the main bulk of card designs i'll only be making a new design every so often so you won't see much of that probably after easter we'll we'll start going back to a regular schedule schedule of n not many card designs going on um but I need to start working on Easter cards as well. So it's all systems go. Work is very busy. Art, business stuff is very busy. So we are just trying to exercise, trying to do work, trying to do a lot of other things and also stay sane. <laughs> so um, all systems go. It's currently starting to try and snow, which is interesting this weekend um in fact friday we've got a delivery of a new shed so we were hoping to put it up this weekend but it's meant to be very heavy with snow so i really hope that doesn't come because we really need to get this um shed up so that i can sort out where all my stall display items go um not the stock itself just the display items that all needs to go in a shed so that it's not blocking the housework the house areas because um a lot of my stuff it just is everywhere but anyway enough rambling enough waffling i will get on with some printing of these cards and package them up so i'll um, film a bit of that for you finally it's been a bit of a busy morning as you can hear the washing machine is on in the background um i've baked some focaccia bread i've planted some seedlings for some cut and grow again little shoots um 
I've been propagating my mushrooms. Um, I will show you those. I did mention that. I'm sure I mentioned that in the last vlog. Anyway, if I haven't, I'll give you a quick run over. I did start growing some of my own mushrooms. So I've, I, I think it was last month, I got a load of mushroom spawn and I've created a substrate and I've bagged them all up and I've got loads and loads of bags of three different mushrooms. I've got the white elm oyster mushroom, I've got the lion's mane mushroom and I've got shiitake mushrooms. So I have loads of bags of those growing up. I'm going to give some to my mum but I've also been doing my own little experiments and the oyster mushrooms are quick to um, kind of uh, multiply and spawn and so I have a I have two on the go at the moment. One is a coffee cup, which actually worked out quickly because it's so small, it managed to permeate the whole substrate really quick. So I actually have some really tiny little white elm oyster mushrooms growing on those so far, but they're growing so quickly. So I will show you those later. Um, so I've been looking after all of that. We've had a little play out in the snow since there's still snow here, although it's vastly and very quickly melting. Um, so it's been a very productive morning and we are just getting into um doing some stall prep so i am cutting bookmarks we are folding wrapping paper we are packaging everything up so we're just designing the final bits of packaging i will be taking product photos maybe today maybe tomorrow um and it's then just a big mass print of cards um we have all the cards basically done except the easter cards so it'll be just lo loads of stall prep and i think we're planning on going outside and getting my stall tables and bringing them into the living room and setting them up because we have a very different stock this year and so we want to test a little setup so i'll show a little bit of that hopefully as well might be quite a long vlog this month that which makes a change it's not the usual hit and miss bits here and there so be quite interested and if it does end up going being a long one and if it's going to be like that every month i may start doing two vlogs a month we'll but we will see um but basically i wanted to pop on because i ordered a oh, it's not to hand right now and i don't want to get up um i ordered a little viewfinder from amazon i believe it is um and it came with a little leaflet promoting the saa now i've never heard of them before and that basically stands for supporting all artists and it is a an organization i think it's been going long before i was even born um and it, it does what it says on the tin it supports artists and it's a really cool thing i've, I've been on their website the little leaflet i got allowed me to get a free magazine to see what they're like and that magazine came the other day and I've been going through it, but it's it's incredible. There's all sorts. There's things about colour theory. There's, you know, artists. There's You get access to free competitions if you sign up. So they have a membership. Um, they also have a store, which is very dangerous because um, it sells branded stuff, but it also sells their own branded things. Um, and it's, it's a good prices, to be honest. So it's i think this is uk based i'm all over the place here <laughs> i'm sorry if this doesn't make sense but anyway i received this free magazine just to have a look through and it definitely enticed me now they do memberships they do um kind of hobbyist memberships they do an upgrade from that um which is the silver membership then they do the professional membership which is gold and then an upgrade from that which i think is their platinum membership now i i kind of went i went for the professional membership purely because you get insurances included that in including liability insurance which is something that i have to buy for um my markets anyway so that all already comes included with the membership um and it includes insurance for say damaged artwork when you're sending it to exhibitions it also includes a portfolio you can put on their website um there's a big community over there you get free posting packaging on their store you get these bi-monthly magazines you get there's a whole array of things you get when you sign up to their membership and you get a lot of that but just smaller amounts of it if you sign up to their hobbyist membership as well so i think it's a really cool i think it's a really cool little community to be a part of now the reason I'm saying this is because I've received a parcel. When you sign up, you receive a free gift. So I did receive that. Apologies, someone knocked on the door. Um, anyway, where was I? So um, I've signed up to this web, I've signed up to this, oh my God, I'm lost. I've signed up to this community, the saa.co.uk, it's UK based. Um, I went for the professional membership, um, which is 85 pounds a year. So it's actually, when you spread it out of the year, it's actually really, really worth it um and you get so much for it like i say in fact i have a leaflet here that can tell you all the benefits of different things so 
this doesn't say the professional membership but the enthusiast memberships um so your standard membership is 45 pounds and that co comes with videos like free video tutorials it comes with the bi-monthly magazine it comes with a welcome pack um, you can showcase your work and enter competitions on their website for free. You don't have to pay to enter any of their competitions. You can network, share and learn from other artists. Um, you get free delivery on their website. You get um, you can earn loyalty points through the website as well. You get exclusive member only savings and offers. Price match promise. Um, you get rewards, a free legal helpline, exhibition insurance and third party liability cover. God, that washing machine's really going for it. <laughs> Apologies. Um, so yeah, that's just the basic membership. So you can imagine what I'm getting for my premium membership. I think it's personally very worth it. I actually think if you are, if you have a little bit of spare money, £45 for the year, and you want to just try it out, why not? Um, I do have a referral code, but it's not a code I can just give out. I actually need to input your details with my details to get it so it's not something i can very easily do i'm afraid but um if ever i do get a referral code i will post it on here or or express that um but i am very excited to learn more to utilize that and create my profile enter the competitions as well it's always worth entering competitions and entering giveaways and things like that because you just never know i've, I've won my fair share and you're not gonna win them if you don't enter them so very worth it and it's very worth it even if you just get the free magazine to, to set you off as well it's got some cool little tips in there but anyway on to the main thing i received my free gift which i believe for this month i think it changes every month is a faber castell um watercolor pencil set so i'm quite very intrigued with that because it's not something i actually have believe it or not um so let's get into this and see what else is in here um it's a lot larger parcel than i expected to just receive some pencils so i'm not sure if there's anything else in here that we will soon see um i don't know if i mentioned but i actually did enter the jackson's art competition i can't because i film these monthly sometimes i don't start filming the next vlog straight away or i'll take a little bit of a break if i've got things going on um and i forget what i've said which is annoying oh i've received a membership pack so i actually don't know what's in that so that'll be interesting okay let's bump this out of the way okay so firstly the thing i do know oh i forgot this came so you get a, you get a little carry case for your pencils and stuff how cool is this so i just I get drawn into these art membership things not very often because a lot of the time it's something that you don't really have time to look at I'm, i mean i probably it's going to be very rare when i look on their website for their video tutorials say but having said that i think i want to push myself to learn more i want to improve not just the things i can already do but like with the portraiture i'm starting to do i want to start improving more and i think videos and getting you know i think people give you can give you um feedback on some of your work as well which i think is really really helpful so this website has already drawn me in and i can't believe i've never heard of it and um, so please let me know in the comments below if you've heard of this already because it's just not something i've heard of like i say i think it is a british thing i don't know i think they do abroad uh, memberships but um I don't know, you'll have to check that out, but I, I am aware they have got an abroad membership price on there. I don't know if it's slightly more because of the postage packaging. I'm not sure. Um, but this is, it's very odd. This is the weird carry case. So we've got two sides to it. A little pencil case in this side, all Velcros on. Some little pen holders or paintbrush holders. I'm assuming this is for your sketchbook in this side it's a very odd design i've never seen something like this but how interesting and then some more i'm assuming this looks like a little zipped pouch here interesting okay and then it folds up like this and then this actually velcros together and then you've got a little carry case interesting that could be useful it could be very useful and it's got their branding on the bottom here nice okay interesting interesting and then we have a cover that up because you shouldn't you look at that we've got a little membership pack here uh welcome to the saa family we're here to inspire you i think this is a really cool initiative oh 
Oh, okay, okay. So we have, so we have the Faber Castell watercolor pencils. Interesting. I'll be excited to try those out. Um, we also have some SAA watercolor brushes. So nice refillable brushes. They're always handy to have. Nice long ones as well. They're going to hold a lot of water traveling. Um, that is my invoice. I then have some information about my membership, which I will not show. <laughs> um, and some confirmation of all my insurances. So I'm now insurance. I've got, this is just if you're interested. So I do skip ahead a little bit if you're not interested. But I have indemnity insurance, liability insurance, professional indemnity insurance and employer's insurance. So if I employ anyone, I'm also insured. Something with the professional um the professional membership as well is if i ever start teaching classes which i have thought of doing i actually can sign up for an account with them where i get supplies 50 percent off because i'll be ordering such bulk amounts of things like bulk amounts of canvases if i'm doing painting or something like that so i think that's a really cool thing to potentially expand into and i think having this now is going to be a good basis for the future because i can use a lot of this and like i say 85 pounds for the year my liability insurance alone for a year is about 60 quid and that was the last time i looked which was a couple of years ago so um i actually think it's probably gone up now so it's it's even worth it just for that alone okay so then we have a little case of information for my membership so it comes with a welcome um booklet i have Five pound worth of loyalty points have been added to my account. <laughs> I have a little block of postcards, very nice, and I can share the work with them um, if I upload it on the website to win a prize potentially. Interesting. Then we have some a professional artist something practice. I can't read what that says. Um, oh, viable practice. There we go. I have a little booklet full of practicing and all the different things about prints, promotion, commission prices, all very handy information. Even if you get the cheapest mem membership, I would imagine you're gonna get this, so very much worth it. Um, then we have a booklet on growing your own business, another magazine, which is a different magazine, so they've back, oh no. So I got the July magazine as a freebie and I've now just received my March magazine with this, so that's good um and then some guides to all my insurance policies as well so really really handy and very nice and exciting to receive a little welcome pack like that and a way to start off doing some bits so i'm very excited i shall keep you updated if anything else arises and please let me know if you you're part of the saa i'd be i'd love to know um and yeah let's get on with some let's get on with some stuff <laughs> Out here on the street, I'm losing my way. You've got into me, and that's my mistake. Some might say I can't get too far without seeing your name.
coming to you from my bed. It's currently lunchtime. I, this is Ted, this is Ted. Um, I just thought I would catch you up. I mentioned in my last vlog that I was starting to read and I finished my first book of the year, which is one of my goals is to read more. And I've finished two more since then. So I thought I would catch you up on those. Um, I finished this California book. I think I gave a brief overview of what um, it was about in the last vlog. So it's a post-apocalyptic world following a couple and how they're surviving in it. Um, I finished it last night, actually, and it just wasn't for me. <laughs> it wasn't for me. It was interesting. It was nicely written, but it was just very slow. And then it ended almost like there should be a second book. And I can't find anywhere that there is a second book. So I'm not really sure. I, If you like a post-apocalyptic world and you want to kind of see a different take on it I think it's a great book but do be aware that it doesn't end kind of it doesn't end in a satisfying way for me anyway so I finished that um I actually listened to another audiobook um so I finished an audiobook which I'm going to class as a book <laughs> um so I've been listening to it uh, to and from work and kind of whenever I can listen to it when I'm cooking etc and it was called Project Hail Mary by Andy Weir and it's about it's I think Andy Weir was the guy who wrote Martian um, which was adapted into the film which was a very good film it's so it's a space book and I thought it was very good I when I first started reading it I was like oh my god this is so much physics so much maths and I was feeling a little bit lost and then it kind of brought it back to a really good storyline and if you like space, if you like the unknown and I'm trying not to spoil it and you like kind of, it's got a few twists and turns I would say, I really enjoyed it, very good. I'm reading a lot more books that are not as, um, you know, fantasy dragon type books and I feel like I'm going into a bit of a different genre and I quite like it I, I mean it has been a bit hit and miss that California was a bit strange for me but I'm enjoying the books and I'm enjoying reading them the next book I am reading is going to be Pod which is by the author that wrote Bees the Bees so I'm hoping this is going to be just as good and then artistically Tori thank you very much for this recommendation uh, recommended The Name of the Wind, which is a bit more fantasy, a bit more like the genre I usually read. Um, and it was actually cheaper to buy the set of three. <laughs> so I have all three books. So I do hope I like it um, because I've got three very hefty books to read for that. Um, but that's what I'm intending to read soon. Um, I did notice that uh, Katie Mai over here on YouTube has a Patreon and one of her tiers is actually a book club and they read books and then Katie Mai actually does a bit of a, a, a double page spread in her sketchbook dedicated to the book she's read and I really really like that idea I think it's a really cool idea so I think I might try and adopt that and potentially create a new sketchbook and just do some really rough doodly type art that represents the book I've just read and since I've only read three now I think this is a perfect time to start because um, it's kind of almost like I'm starting anew with reading and I've read three books. And it's not going to be too overwhelming to catch up on doing the artwork for that. And I think it'll be a really cool project. So um, I might start that soon. I'm not sure whether I'll make those into their own videos or whether they'll be some sort of reel on Instagram or TikTok. I don't know. Um, please let me know what you'd prefer to see it as or whether you just want to see snippets of it in this in the vlogs. Um, but I'm, re I'm really enjoying reading and I just thought I'd catch you up on what I'm reading. Um, but currently we are stall prepping. I have so much to do. It is unreal. Last night I wrote down a big list and I was so overwhelmed. So we have a lot to do. I've got stall displays to make. I've just accepted two more stalls. I'm trying to fulfill that, um, new year's resolution of doing more than just the Kirkstall markets that I have done for the last couple of years so I'm trying to incorporate a few more stalls into that and see how I do at those so it's very very all systems go and I feel overwhelmed but I'm trying to keep at it I'm trying to keep down to earth it doesn't help that work's very busy at the moment as well so I'm feeling very stressed out but this week has been the first week we've done 
three workouts in a row. We've got two more days. I'm hoping to do five workouts in a row. However, my whole body aches. We did a an upper body strength workout on Monday. We did a core workout yesterday. And today I did a, um, a cycle on, on my uh, spin bike. So my whole body aches, but we are working at staying healthier, staying oxygenated and having a lot of serotonin in the body so that I can keep going and getting all these goals met that I'm hoping to meet. But I'm just hoping I don't burn out and I think the exercise is going to help with that. Um, but other than that, you're all caught up. Let's get on with some more stall prep. afternoon it is the 29th i had my stall and market this weekend you will have seen the video all about my prep for that so a lot of that was will not be in this vlog unfortunately but i've actually filmed quite a lot of footage i have many many videos that i need to edit for this vlog um but it's coming up to the end of the month and i thought i would end the vlog with a bit of an update the market went very well um it's kind of hard not to compare it to last year's markets because last March was kind of like the first time people like COVID res restrictions have been fully lifted, etc. And so we made about double what we made at this market. But in the grand scheme of things of it, of comparing it to a normal market, like at the end of last year, it's gone very well. The Saturday, it was raining when we were setting up i had no hope for it but the people turned out and we made a good amount of money sunday less so but that's fine um just you can never tell with the market stall sometimes they do well sometimes they don't apologize apologies if you can hear my washing machine in the background it's just on um i am pretty shattered from that we've kind of put our exercising and everything on hold because we ended up building a big shed after the the markets on the saturday and the sunday um for our bikes and so we did a lot of it was a lot of manual labor over the weekend it's absolutely taken us out and i don't know why and also the clocks going forward we've lost the hour and um i definitely feel that for some reason even though it's just an hour um I'm very busy at work and so there's not much time to be doing anything else and this friday i have another stall it's night market so it's going to be after work but i've had to take half a day off work just purely because the start time of this night market is basically just as i finish work and um, so i obviously need to get over there and set up and everything so i've had to take a half day off for that so i'll be doing that i don't have any time to make any stock for it although i need to be doing some beading of spiders and stuff um and i'm a little bit nervous because it's a one table setup so i've been used to doing a two table setup for the longest time so i'm kind of having to pare back a little we'll see we'll see how it goes i think it'll be fine but i'm going by myself as well it's a new venue it's a new place so I'm a little bit nervous and a bit anxious about that, but hopefully it goes very well. I'm just about to sit down and start filming my bullet journal April setup. Um, I actually have no idea what I'm going to do for that, but hopefully something good. And I'm just going to plug again um, some self promo here. I'm going to plug again that my website is up and running. It's got wrapping paper it's got cards it's got loads and loads of stuff for sale it's www.lucylocksart.com please go over there and support me if you can i would very much appreciate that um uk orders is free delivery over five pounds so um make sure you get those orders in over five pounds if you want the free delivery if you're in the uk um we have a lot of postal costs going up so i'm really trying hard to kind of keep posts down so i'm really sorry about international the costs for those um for the delivery for international orders will be quite high unfortunately it's just the way the cookie crumbles um and i'm also looking into registering my business as a sole trader it's not something i've done until now purely because i wasn't making 
you know it was just a little bit of a hobby selling a bit at market stalls but now we're getting a bit more um serious about it and i'd like to register as a sole trader so i've just been on the phone with my bank that's doing my mortgage just so that i can get written confirmation that i can apply the address to here um, without it affecting my mortgage there's a lot to think about but i'm going to probably go through that in a little bit more detail at the start of the next vlog um i just came on here to close out really and give you an update and freddie says hi oh oh he wants a cuddle <laughs> um all right so thank you very much for watching i hope you've enjoyed this job this jog wow we've not been jogging <laughs> um probably should <laughs> i hope you've enjoyed this vlog and i hope to see you in the next one Bye bye